All right, you can all be seated. Good afternoon. On behalf of Laura and Mike, I would like to thank you all for being here this afternoon, for taking the time and making the journey, and for all the effort that it takes, not only to be a part of this day, to, but to be a part of each other's lives. Laura and Mike have invited you here to this beautiful place to show you a glimpse of an important piece of their love, to share with you trails, woodlands, rivers, and mountains, like the ones they've often explored during their years together. Whenever we attend a wedding, we are given the opportunity to reflect on our own relationships. We might look at the couple before us and be tempted to compare their love to the quality of our own. The truth is that every relationship is as unique as the individuals in it, but one thing holds true. For love to exist between two people, each person must allow the vulnerability of giving his or her love to the other and must be open to receiving the other's love in turn. Therefore, each of us is a powerful creator of love. Every moment of every day, we have to make the choice to dedicate ourselves to one another. If you ask couples who have a strong and abiding love about their relationships, many will say when they are with their partner, they don't have to pretend to be anything than what they are. They are able to express themselves without fear of being judged or rejected. There is room in the relationship for them to be unique individuals. Whether it's Taco Bell or Wendy's, whether it's Pitbull or Bob Dylan, or skiing versus snowboarding, Laura and Mike are accepting of each other's ways. They are free to surrender to the vulnerability of true intimacy, to be known and loved unconditionally. We are here together in this breathtaking landscape. There is a power and strength in the peaceful resilience of the mountain, its ability to withstand changes, natural and man-made. Laura and Mike have chosen this mountain not only as the setting for their celebration, but as a symbol of the endurance they will bring to their marriage. In that spirit, we would like to share a poem called The Mountain Still Stands. The day comes with the rays of sun bright. Night is gone, its moonbeams dim in the light. A mountain built from years of shine and rain, its peak transcends into waning blue and gray. What is alive will change, never can remain, but the strong rock foundations always stay. As the winds and the clouds flowers and trees shape, grow and wilt, blow and tilt the rugged landscape. The mountain still stands. The snow freezing, icing the summer silent, dry heat burns, the towering timbers to an ashy blight. The mountain still stands. An old tree cracks, cries and creaks in despair. A sapling shoots up, a song of laughter fills the air. The mountain still stands. As we ride the waves of joy and sorrow, green crests and black caves of life's thrust, the high and lows of yesterday and tomorrow, find your mountain, find your mountain you must. To climb, to fall, to swim, to drown, and still find the light in a simple song, in a rolling stream as it leaves float down, or a meadow that extends her colors along. To live and thrive, simply take their hand, find your mountain, and you will always stand. And with that, we will proceed with the wedding exchanges. Mike and Laura, you will first declare your intentions in front of your families and friends. Please respond with, I do. Laura, do you take Mike to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to support him completely and love him unconditionally so long as you both shall live? I do. Mike, do you take Laura to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to support her completely and love her unconditionally so long as you both shall live? I do. Excellent. <laughs> we shall proceed. <laughs> Laura and Mike, you are about to make your promises to one another. You will find that as you live by these vows, investing your time, love, and commitment to one another, the happy times of your life will be twice as joyous because you will share these together in marriage. Laura, you may start. Please repeat after me. I, Laura, take you, Mike. I, Laura, take you, Mike. To be my best friend, faithful partner, and one true love. To be my best friend, faithful partner, and one true love. 
I promise to encourage and inspire you. I promise to encourage and inspire you. To love you truly through the good times and bad. To love you truly through the good times and bad. To laugh with you and support you unconditionally. To laugh with you and support you unconditionally. Through all our adventures in life together. Through all our adventures in life together. Mike, now it's time for your promise. I, Mike, take you, Laura. I, Mike, take you, Laura. To be my best friend, faithful partner, and one true love. To be my best friend, faithful partner, and one true love. I promise to encourage and inspire you. I promise to encourage and inspire you. To love you truly through the good times and bad. To love you truly through the good times and bad. To laugh with you and support you unconditionally. To laugh with you and support you unconditionally. Through all our adventures in life together. Through all our adventures in life together. Traditionally, the passage of, to status of husband and wife is marked by the exchange of rings. Do we have the rings? We do. All right. <laughs> That's another good answer. <laughs> These rings are a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and has no end. It is an outward sign of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two hearts in endless love. May these rings always remind you of the vows you have taken today. Okay. All right, Mike, you're gonna go first. So please repeat after me as you place the ring on Laura's finger. Okay. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and my faith in our strength together. And my faith in our strength together. Okay, ready? Ready. All right, Laura. <laughs> I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and my faith in our strength together. And my faith in our strength together. <laughs> we'll get it on there. <laughs> it's the altitude. Nailed it. You got many years for that, so no, no, no worries. All right, you guys hold hands. I leave you now with the following words. May all that you are always be in love. May all that is love always be in you. May you love be as beautiful on each day as it is on the day of this celebration. And may each, each day you share be precious as the day you first fell, fell in love. May you always see and encourage the best in each other. May the challenges that life brings your way Make your marriage even stronger, and may you always be each other's best friend and greatest love. Laura and Mike, you have pledged your commitment to each other in the company of family and friends. By the power of vested in me by the state of Colorado, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was with great honor I present to you for the first time, Mike and Laura Powers. Yeah.